Hi, I'm Elliot Williams with Hackaday, and I'm here with Alex Glow, and we're talking about Archimedes, her uh, robot owl familiar, and how that went. <laughs> How's he doing? Oh, he's doing okay. He's usually a little jerk, but... <laughs> oh, he's, he's wiggling all around. I like to see that. Yeah, his, uh, his wing's a little wiggly, but otherwise he's pretty happy. Yeah, oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, you just gave a talk. Actually, I, I just saw it. It was really neat. I thought what was really nice about that was you focused on a lot of the problems you had in making it rather than just being like, oh, here's my awesome finished robot owl that was really easy. Yeah, Do you I want to talk about that for half a sec? Sure. I feel like that's really useful for people who are more starting out and uh, they get intimidated by the idea of building something like this. But it's also like really an inspiring project for a lot of people. Yeah. I see a lot of people being like, oh, I want to build a familiar now. Like, oh, and that's and a couple of people have. Yeah. Someone okay. has actually used the, the carapace that I designed and put it on a different robot and put it on their shoulder. Awesome. So that they have like, it's actually red and it's got like a gold monocle too. Oh, beautiful. And, oh, I'm so excited about it. But yeah, I went through a lot of trials and tribulations and in order to get him to where he is now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's such a jerk. But at least I started like putting him in an actual like hard case instead of a suitcase, instead of just like trying to pack him in a backpack. Uh, like that's one thing that I should have mentioned. Don't just like stuff your robot in a backpack. Fragile robot owl. Yeah. Okay. I, I can mean, somehow believe it. Yeah. yeah. He's pretty durable, but like how many servos has he got? He's got two servos. Oh, so really? it's a pen tilt gimbal. So it's just up, down, and left yeah. and right. The it body looks, sort of goes like this. It looks more. Head. It's because the wings are moving along with, right? Yeah. Usually they're more stable. Uh, <laughs> but so they're attached by a couple of rings, mm -hmm. to, uh, 3D printed rings to the armature wire that's a sort of skeleton. Um, but one of the rings is broken off on this wing, so it kind of hangs out. But that okay. means that it's a little bit more mobile. Yeah. And it gives the illusion of more like smarts than he actually It actually looks like has. you've got more, more yeah. degrees of freedom than you do. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And the brain is a Raspberry Pi? Raspberry Pi Zero W. All right. Um, it's part of the Google AIY Vision Kit. So okay. over here, he's got like a little camera. He's got a piezo speaker that's kind of beeping at me. To, oh, okay. Uh, when he thinks that you're happy, he goes, boop, boop. Um, okay. <laughs> He usually thinks people are sad though, so don't take it personally. Let me see if I go like this. Got him to get him to look at you first. <laughs> eh? uh, yeah. I mean, it's plausible. Uh, but then, you know, sometimes if somebody's like really, ah, and then he'll go like, boop, and it's yeah. like happy, That's fantastic. happy time. That's really yeah. fun. Uh, yeah, and uh, then he has like one button up here that, actually that'll take a picture. Okay. Uh, if I had <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then if I like take apart his head, I can like get in there and like look at the pictures and stuff. Oh right, but you have to open his head up. Yeah, which is not that bad. Out. It's just attached with foam tape to a couple of like armature wire arcs with uh, heat shrink on them to keep him from shorting anything. Okay, awesome. So he's pretty stable, but how long did it take you to put it all together? <laughs> um, so about it took two days of thinking, and then like. You know, a few days of design. There's a bunch of dogs going. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah. um, Humane Society next door. Oh, cool. Uh, and then a bunch of days for print. I'd say about two weeks total. Um, okay. Man, that's not bad at all. No. That's but super fast. It did involve like. It's because I was going, I was like at the office until like 3 or 4 a.m. a few uh -huh, nights. Okay, good. Hence the printing two left wings in a row. Right, right. <laughs> uh, and then since then it's been like a fix-a-thon. Fix but you know, it's like, it's really useful to have an event or a deadline or whatever. And so this was, had Absolutely. to be done by Maker Faire Bay Area. Absolutely. And so I was like, got a motor. Yeah, that's super. And what's his, what are your next plans for him now that you got some time? Oh yeah, well, um, he really only has been doing one thing since I got him, and that was running this example sketch. Mm -hmm. uh, and I tried to work in the servos earlier, but I couldn't get them to integrate with the same piece of code and all work at once. Um, so it would be cool to either do some more or like do my own uh, behavioral stuff with him, or I might just swap out his brain. Cause, uh, Upgrade or, yeah. or swap, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure. So there's this company called Chirp that does, basically, you type words into their app and then it makes these R2-D2 noises. Okay. And then if another person has the app open, it'll like hear those noises and turn it back into text. That's clever. Yeah. yeah. So if I can get it to go slowly enough, I can get him to talk to me. I might actually be able to decode what he's saying right. and I'd be able to like whistle back at him. Or I also right got to whistles. learn to whistle though. Yeah, you'd have to learn the right whistles too. But yeah. maybe... I wonder how flexible their software is. I wonder if you could 
Well, so uh, this weekend, this coming weekend, next weekend, uh, I'll be in London for an, a music hackathon at Abbey Road okay. that they're co-sponsoring. Yeah. And so I'll be able to just like, I talked to them about it already and they're they're psyched about it. And so I figure like, I can just sort of like nerd at them about it and they'll nerd back at me and we'll try and see like what's possible. Having a robotic owl is a good thing to motivate uh, yeah. software people to get their uh, get their acting gear. And as I'm sure you know, like, it. yeah, like as you're building any project, like the idea changes, right? Yeah. Because he was going to be sitting on a box. I wasn't sure what he was going to be at the start. It's the same thing with the chirp thing. You know, I'm sure we'll find something cool to do. Yeah, awesome. So oh, that's cool. really good. I'm looking forward <laughs> to see what comes out of it. Thanks. Take it easy. You too.